the nerve of the NCAA, Big Ten, Big 12, and ACC to be claiming Olympic athletes? I don't know if you've seen this, but the new landscape of college sports has the conferences like the Big Ten, Big 12, and ACC congratulating Olympic athletes that have never even played in those conferences. You have the Big 12 out here hyping up French swimmer Leon Marchand for winning three golds after spending the last few years at Arizona State. Where is Arizona State? In the pack. 12. You also have the Big Ten claiming Sabrina Ionescu and Kelsey Plum, despite the fact that when this tweet came out, Oregon and Washington still hadn't even officially joined the conference yet. And one of the more ridiculous and hard to digest examples is seeing the ACC hype up the accomplishments of the greatest female swimmer of all time, Katie Ledecky, who just so happened to go to Stanford. I've seen people call this stolen valor. And that's pretty funny, but like it or not, it's the new reality of college sports. Plus the only thing more American than dominating the Olympics is taking credit for things that you had absolutely nothing to do with. But what I can't do is sit back and watch the NCAA official Twitter account hype up Katie Ledecky. Do they not know that we know that Katie Ledecky won four gold medals the summer before she even enrolled at Stanford? And she stopped her NCAA career after two years because NCAA rules kept her from making money? The NCAA has all the nerve in the world hyping up an athlete that its own rules pushed out of collegiate competition. And I get it, you can't hold grudges forever, especially when the offending party has made amends and changed his ways. But the NCAA has never made amends. And it was just court case after court case kicking them in the teeth that bullied them into dropping the unconstitutional shield of amateurism that it used as an excuse to hold these young men and women back from accessing the marketplace that they were generating revenue for. The NCAA should get no grace until it asks for it. And even then, I'm even more than happy to see people bullying this organization online for hyping up an athlete that it failed to support. Now, I'm old enough to remember the NCAA refusing to let Jeremy Bloom play football at Colorado because Bloom needed sponsorship money to realize his Olympic skiing dream. But I imagine if Bloom was somehow pulling a LeBron and competing as a, well, I, let's just call him a seasoned veteran because I'm not getting ready to call Bloom old because we were in college at the same time, so I'm not old. Can you imagine how mad these athletes are at this? or saying the nerve of you. Can you imagine the NCAA putting out a tweet congratulating Bloom after never once showing any contrition over the last 20 years for unnecessarily screwing him out of two more years of college football? But hey, at least the Big 12 tweet about Jeremy Bloom would be accurate since Colorado is back in its original conference. Plus, the NCAA should be ashamed they should be ashamed for claiming that it was Stanford that turned Ledecky from a great swimmer to a world record smashing champion. Katie Ledecky had a grip of gold medals before she even enrolled in Palo Alto. So not only did Stanford not make Ledecky a champion, the NCAA effectively prevented Ledecky as it had so many others from being able to secure her rightful place as one of the most decorated athletes in college swimming history. Let that sink in.